I'm guessing you didn't put the article in because I just added it recently, but the the music industry is now like uh, Universal Music Group is uh, f- fully going after the likes of Spotify, Apple Music. They're like, no, 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 now's the time. Right there, AI generated songs on Apple Music and Spotify breach copyright says music labels. So now we are in the absolute depth of it because the Especially, legal yeah music labels when they the, don't mess around the all the legal stuff that's going to happen is getting kicked off right now it reminds me of napster metallica this one seems so much more difficult to police and it's it's like one thing where they ha- where the music labels have these tremendous relationships like the spotify's and the apple music but where you have much more user generated content like places like youtube oh my god and the upload button is so accessible and frequent and the likes of tiktok and instagram and it's just going to be impossible to police it and that's why they had to come up with systems that started to look for melodies and all these this variety of systems to search for copywritten material and now they've been officially asked by these record labels, and you know these companies are worried about these record labels because they're sitting there saying, well, we kind of need this music so we can keep billing our customers. And do we have to build tools now to police this? Because it's not, it can't be humans. So now we're going to have to build AI to, to look for and hunt down AI. Yeah. <laughs> ironic there's some wild stuff ai generated songs are created in a similar way to ai generated systems chat gpt and bar the systems learned by analyzing huge volumes of text but in this case huge volumes of voice images obviously as we know video uh the financial times reports that umg has emailed a number of streaming music services including apple music and spotify asking them to block scraping of lyrics and melodies We have become aware that certain AI systems might have been trained on copyrighted content without obtaining the required consents or paying compensation to the rights holders. This is Kanye. He's like, well, Mm. how did you train these AI in the first place? It's like, oh, just scrape the content that's out there and available. But that's my voice. In these data sets, they're like, nope, content. No, I'm a person. It's my voice. Content, 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 content. And the amount of it, these people are extremely exposed on the internet mm-hmm. um, p- p- content publishers the ability to train based on that is extensive and so the, res- the results are going to be incredible and we just experienced it mm-hmm. we got Kanye singing anything mm-hmm. I don't know how they're going to shut it down but the emails have been sent and you know that's step one mm-hmm. uh, UMG or Sony or whatever it's only a matter of time now before it goes and goes and goes and then artists start to ask and the artists start to try to issue these takedowns and but like you were just on youtube and it's a billion of these things yeah it's so prevalent there is currently no system in place for taking this stuff down and no no uh, in the same way that you can't get that content copywritten to begin with like we were just talking about you can't take the ai generated content and get a a new copyright for you can't say this is original in the same way it's becoming difficult to attach these newly generated pieces to the original or the previously copywritten version of it whatever the song happens to be yeah you would need to have rights to maybe the master which is impossible this gets very complicated yeah absolutely This clip you just watched is sponsored by Later Case. If you have been looking for an impossibly thin case to put on your brand new smartphone, you need to check out Later Case, available for both Android and iPhone. Check the description of this clip in order to get a special offer.